Hey guys, you're probably wondering how we got here. Well, time for script my pants. 2000 script and this hellhole. Oh well. Before we get on with it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The rules are simple. I spend 2000 script and I lose my soul to Papa Todd and Mama. Murga burga furga burga burga. I hate them all. Let's get on with it. Instigating short 10mm submachine gun. That's hit chance. Fast movement speed volume. None of those effects work really well in tandem with each other, I'm not gonna lie. Oh well. Nocturnal pike pistol, that uh, bolt action pistol rather. Damage while aiming, that's action point cost. Two middle effects do not work together at all either, as well as the nocturnal effect isn't the best. It's not the worst, just not the best. Uh, probably scrap it. Probably. Two shot minigun, faster fire rate, breaks 50% floor. Kind of tempted to test that to see how well two shot has came on in uh, the game since, well, the time this gun. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm going to test this problem. Two shot minigun. Funky. Furious short western revolver. Faster fire rate. Stealth field. Stealth field doesn't really work on this gun. It's loud as hell. Faster fire rate. Mm, that just means more reloading. Um, furious. Not the best. Probably script this. Don't really know. Two-shot Hearthstorm Missile Launcher, limb damage, one agility. I have much better ones in my storage on a very similar character. Two-shot is the best effect to get on the Hailstorm Missile Launcher, I believe, but still, uh, I don't like it. Bloody Pipe Revolver, limb damage, one agility. Agility? Agility. I do not like limb damage on these weapons. I really don't. Um, bloody, not the best effect on here either, because this is my full health character. But I'm almost certain I'm going to script that weapon. Almost certain. Anti-armor pipe bolt action pistol, that's hit chance, reduced weight. Now, for the bolt action, I suppose this is actually an okay drop. You are going to hit those vats hits on the head a lot more often. Reduced weight means it is not weighing much. And anti-armor isn't a bad effect. It's just not a very good weapon. Like, pipe bolt action pistols are just kind of naff. The regular pipe pistol is okay, but this one's not so much. It's not one of my favorites. Might test it out just to see it. Why is it giving me this? Vampire's Hellstorm Missile Launcher. 25 damage while aiming. Vats action point cost. I mean, you're going to get a lot of health back, but what the hell? Next up. Anti-armor, 50 cal, with Vats crits and movement speed while aiming. The middle effect is the only one that doesn't really work. Movement speed while aiming is actually an okay effect on weapons like this, because you will be aiming and moving around. But... Vats crits, why? There's so many effects. Well, there's not so many effects. There's two effects I would have wanted in that middle bit, but no, why? It was almost a god roll. Executioner's black powder rifle bullets explode for area damage. Vats action point cost. Somebody in the comments is probably going to say, I want that gun. I hate it. It's a god roll, and I hate it. <laughs> I just hate it. Assassin's Ultra Sight Gatling Laser, damage while aiming, reduced weight. Absolute donkey poop. Complete and utter swill. 100% getting script. Nocturnal Gauss Rifle, faster fire rate, one agility. Faster fire rate doesn't really work on this weapon, the one agility is okay, I suppose, but yeah. Nocturnal, just mm, sad. So very sad. Medic's Ultra Sight Gatling Laser, fast crits, breaks with. That's script. Script. You can't use it with Vats crits, so medics is pointless as well. Zealot's short combat rifle with faster fire rate, one perception. No, none of this is adding up. <laughs> like, it's so annoying when it's a weapon like this. Uh, tonight's going to be daft. Instigating auto grenade launcher, damage while leaving, breaks 50% slower. Now, this one's actually okay because instigating is going to give some pretty insane damage. Damage while aiming more damage, breaks 50% slower. Yeah, it's an instigating god roll. Might test this out to show how it compares with my two-shot one, but mm, not exactly the roll I would have wanted. Medic's Cryolator, limb damage faster. Why, god? Why? Just why? Straight up, why? Junkie Short Flamer, replenish action modes with each skill, stealth field. 
this one works. This one actually works. Replenish action points with each kill is actually quite good because again, AP regen. Junk is a decent effect. And stealth field, this can be used in stealth. So yeah, funky. Couple more to go. Executioner, short rest and revolver. This is a god roll. Um, Vats, crits and action point cost. This is going to do a lot of damage against um, bigger enemies like Errol later on. You can sit and shoot me all you want. Um, so it's a decent weapon. Next up, we have the Suppressor's Short Radium Rifle, Damage Will Aiming, Vats Critical Meter. Suppressors is a bad effect, like a really, really, really bad effect. The other effects are okay, but Suppressors is a really, really bad effect. It's getting scripted. And last but not least, Berserker's Short Gatling, Last Shot, One Agility. Also script. Berserker's in this weapon with Last Shot? No, script. 100% script. You know it's bad when I'm putting one of these on here. This is a god roll in every sense of the word. This is going to do a crap load of damage on Errol and or the Queen um, when their HP goes below a certain point. I don't like it. I'm just putting that out there. I don't like it. I hate it. I hate everything about it. The end. So my next pick is going to be the two-shot minigun with faster fire rate and breaks 50% slower. Now this is going to spray all the directions, but it's going to fire a crap load of additional bullets. And I'm kind of curious to see how well it does. Like, really, really kind of curious. Either way, this is the second pick. <laughs> two-shot minigun, faster fire rate, breaks 50% slower. And for tonight's top pick, I'm going to go for the Executioner's Short Western Revolver, Vance Kratz, Action Point Cost. The reason for that is this gun will do some pretty hefty damage against enemies like Errol and the Queen once they breach that 40% uh, health mark. This is a very good way to get your hits in on an enemy. Um, it does decent damage on its own. So yeah, it's a decent little weapon. It's not the best, but it is a god roll in every sense of the word. So that was today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel further, you can buy our merchandise as you can see on the screen at the Teespring link down below, as well as our super thanks button on all of our videos. On top of that, we also have our coffee QR code on screen and you can become a channel member. And on the note of the members, let's thank them. So with that, let's thank the Chosen Undead. We have Goldie, Dealfin Gaming, the BDP, Bub of Doodle Mom, Scott S, TFE Archive, Philip Duda, Call, PT Buns, Devilman Games, and Peggy Manite, as well as our Dad's Army members, White Blackburn, Bowlers, Me, Colin G, Matazbo, Marcus Carrasco, Numpty, Sickle Man, James Colshrit, Prophet 7 Back, Country Boy Stevens, Reaper Gaming 92, Victrix, Evil Rat, and Folly Vora Zanafra. Big thanks to each and every one of you, and hopefully you're all doing really well and enjoying the content. So yeah, today's video, less successful than some. Still not the worst I've ever encountered. And with that, guys, I'll catch you next time in the wasteland.